On the left hand side of the screen is an analog stopwatch and on the right hand side is a digital stopwatch. The difference between an analog stopwatch and a digital stopwatch are 1. No winding up is required for a digital stopwatch and number 2. Readings are obtained from the screen directly. The switch on the right is used to start or stop the watch. And the switch on the left is used to reset zero. The switch in the middle is seldom used for measurement. Now we're trying to measure the time required for one oscillation in a single pendulum. But since the time interval is very short, instead of one oscillation, five oscillations will be measured. We swing the pendulum and wait until the movement is steady. Then we start the stopwatch when the ball reaches the peak position. Let's say this point, one, two, three, start. One, two, three, four, five, stop. The reading is 4.41 seconds, and the time required for one oscillation is 4.41 divided by five. That is 0.882 seconds. The measurement will then be written as 0.882 plus or minus 0.002 seconds. Remember to reset zero before measurement is taken. In addition, there is a gap on the switch. Reaction error will be greatly reduced by pressing over the gap and just pressing slightly downwards while the event happens. How long is it from this end of the hand?